What I would like to demonstrate next is the correct approach to the PSA. Um, oftentimes when a patient has a third molar it necessitates a more posterior target site for the entrance of the needle. Uh, this actually will necessitate retracting the cheek. Oftentimes the patient will have to close and shift their, la their jaw laterally to the same side that you're doing the injection, which in this case is the left side. This allows more area for you to operate back here because again, with the per patient with the third molar requires a more posterior approach. Once you've done this, the basic idea here is to have a three direction approach in one movement. In other words, we want to go up, back and in, all in one motion. Again, the book uh, indicates 45 degrees in one plane, 45 in another. And if you approach the target site with this in mind, you will have incorporated those three directions, up, back, and in, all in one motion, like so. Up, back, and in just as Heather is showing on the skull. Up, back, and in. Okay, posterior superior alveolar nerve block. The nerves are the posterior superior alveolar and their branches. The areas anesthetized are the pulps of the maxillary first, second, and third molars. The buccal peri periodontium and the bone underlying these teeth. The needle gauge in length is the 25 or 27 short. The patient position is supine or semi-supine with her mouth partially open and the mandible towards the side of injection. Operator position is on the right side at 8 o'clock facing the patient or on the left side at 10 o'clock facing the patient. Landmarks are the mucobuccal fold, the maxillary tuberosity, the zygomatic process of the maxa, Maxilla. And the target area is the PSA nerve, which is posterior, superior, and medial to the posterior border of the maxilla. The syringe position is upward, inward, and backward, maintaining a 45 degree angle. Insert the needle to the height of the mucobuccal fold over the second molar. The bevel orientation faces towards the bone. There is no pressure anesthesia. The depth of insertion is about 16 millimeters for a normal adult or half of the long needle. A short needle equals four millimeters and it should remain visible. There is no osseous contact. Aspiration potential is 3.1%. Aspiration negative. And the amount of solution is 0.9 to 1.8 milliliters over 30 to 60 seconds.